Hi, it's Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and one of the Canva champions. Today's Canva quick tip is about brankets. You might be wondering what a brankit is. It's a quick reference to understanding your logos, colors, fonts, and any messaging that represents your brand. Brankets are usually shared as downloadable PDFs or print documents, but Canva also has a great way for you to store your brankit in your Canva account. There used to be more free features on this option, but now it's the All in Canva Pro. But if you want to become a Canva Pro member, then click on the link below because actually you'll get 15 days extra free than if you just go directly from the Canva website. Your brand kit ensures that all your marketing and communications are accurate and on brand. As your business grows, you want to make sure that your brand image and message don't become diluted or misrepresented. But particularly on social media, Consistency of the look and feel of your brand makes it easier for your ideal customers to find you and build those all important know, like, and trust factors. I'm gonna go across to my Canva screen now and show you where you find the brand kit. So here we are on my Canva homepage and we're currently in the brand kit section, which you'll find down here on the left. And it, as you can see, it is a pro feature because it has the crown. I click directly into it. When you first see it, you'll have the options to add a brand kit. But because I have several of my clients' brand kits on here, and I haven't asked their permission, I didn't think I'd share, share the whole screen with you. But let's talk briefly about what you can do with a pro account brand kit. You can have up to 100 separate brands, which if you are doing graphics for other people, is fantastic. You can upload your own fonts, which I found incredibly useful because one of the main fonts that I use is not on Canva. And you can have unlimited logos and backgrounds. And on Be Your Own Graphic Designer, we have a lot of different colors. We work on six main color themes. And I also have my logo here. And I have my Canva Champions badge. It's very convenient to have all my graphic images in here. To add another brand logo, and you think I'd have enough, but I don't. I'm going to add this lady with short dark hair who we use as part of our imagery. And you can see these are PNGs because the checkerboard effect of the background shows that the background is transparent, which is incredibly useful when you're putting it onto a colored background. Try and upload PNGs if you can, but you can upload SVG, PNG, or JPEGs to your brand logos. There's all my logos added. Interestingly, what Canva has now offered me is the option to keep some of these additional colors. And there's colors for my BYOGD logo. I can keep that. And I can also keep the colors from the lady's desk. But these are my main Bureau and Graphic Designer colors. I have six of them, as that's part of our color theming. But I want to bring this back up to the top. So I can reorder my palettes by clicking here and then just kicking this arrow and then moving that back up to the top. So my main colors are now at the top again. You can still add brand colors in a free account, but unfortunately you cannot add logos or brand fonts unless you've got a pro account. That's gonna be the big difference. In my mind, a real reason to go for Canva Pro. Under brand fonts or texts, there are three different hierarchies. You can have headings, subheadings, and then you have body text. And I've got mine set up here. This is Architect's Daughter, probably to make that a little larger. So I'm gonna change that to 42, so I can change the font size. It's probably a little smaller, 18. This is a subheading, so I'll move that up to 24. And that's a Century Gothic bold. Then the regular text, I'll move to 18. You can see how easy it is to change these. And here, you can see the option to upload a font, but you can also see what I've uploaded already. These are the two that I've uploaded for Be Your Own Graphic Designer. So that's how easy it is to use your brand kit. I hope that helps and see you next week.